T minus four minutes and 42 seconds. The range is ready to support. And even though there's fog at Vandenberg, the weather is looking great for an on-time liftoff of 10.25 p.m. Pacific time. Teams are currently tracking no issues with the vehicle or the spacecraft. Now, while it will be quite difficult to see through the fog, the strong back, which is adjacent to the Falcon 9 vehicle, uh, has clamp arms that will be opening up just below the payload fairing on our Falcon rocket. The strong back, or transporter erector, is the truss structure next to the rocket that is used for rollout and to route propellants and electrical power to the vehicle in preparation for launch. Now, once those clamp arms are fully open, the strong back will recline away from the vehicle. The transporter erector usually moves away a couple degrees away from the rocket, and then uh, once the rocket lifts off from the pad, will retract even further away. Coming up next at the T-minus three minute mark, we should hear that stage one has completed liquid oxygen loading. Stage one locks load is complete. And there's that call out that stage one locks loading is complete. The Falcon 9 first stage is now fully loaded with RP-1 and stage locks. Stage one, and we're awaiting completion of LOX load on the second stage in about 50 seconds from now. Now again, while it is quite foggy at Vandenberg, there are some white clouds forming around our Falcon vehicle. Those clouds are the chilled gas above the LOX tank liquid surface that we vent overboard to maintain pressure in the tank as needed. And when that gas comes out into the California air, the humid moist air condenses into clouds and water. Coming up shortly, we should hear a call out that locks loading is complete on the second stage of our Falcon vehicle. The booster, or first stage of the rocket that you see on screen, is flying for its 10th time tonight. And after liftoff and stage separation, this booster is scheduled to land on our drone ship, Of Course I Still Love You, which is currently stationed in the Pacific Ocean. As many of you may already know, successfully recovering parts of the rocket allows SpaceX to refly the most expensive pieces, which in turn drives down the cost of space access. Coming up in about 24 seconds from now, we should hear a call out over the nets updating us that Falcon 9 is in startup, which means that the flight computers have taken over the launch countdown. Stage 2 launch load is complete. Falcon 9 is in startup. And there's those callouts of stage two locks loading uh, completion as well as Falcon 9 startup. In a few seconds, we should hear our LD give the final go for launch. LD is go for launch. And as you just heard, the launch director has given the final go to proceed for launch tonight. So let's sit back and watch as Falcon 9 takes our 15 Starlink satellites into space. Two minutes, 30 seconds. seconds. Two minus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, abort. And if you've been following along, you'll Watch heard that we had running. an abort at the five second uh, mark. Prior to that, the countdown was proceeding nominally, so please stand by while we check in with the teams to see if we can get more information.
This is a launch director on Countdown 1. Um, we have aborted. Um, the vehicle is safe and we are proceeding with the off load off sequence. And if you just heard that call out from our launch director, there has been an abort for this mission at the five second mark. Keep in mind that the purpose of the countdown is to help us catch potential issues prior to flight. And there are thousands of ways a launch can go wrong and only one way it can go right. Given that, we are overly cautious on the ground, and if the team or the vehicle sees anything that just looks even slightly off, they'll stop the countdown. Again, the vehicle and the payload are in good health, but this will end our launch attempt for today. Please check our social media accounts for our next launch opportunity. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.